All right, guys, we're going to take the back wheel off again, and we're going to replace the motor now. Uh, just uh, an example of how to do it. So first thing we got to do is clip these uh, zip ties off that hold the motor on. There's two of them, I believe. There's one. Now we can unplug the motor. And, oh, it looks like that's it. Just one on there. Okay, now we're going to pull the cap off here that protects just a, a, a good-looking cap is all it is. Make Kind of cover this bolt here. All right, now we're going to unscrew this. Eighteen millimeter. Then we're going to slip off the uh, derailleur guard. Okay, now that we have that loose enough, there's nothing else holding it on over here. Now we got to switch over to the other side and loosen that bolt up. All right, here it is. Now we loosen this one up. This one we got to take off because we have a retaining clip right here. Take those off. And now this is retaining the wheel onto the bike frame. This is a four millimeter. Take that off. Now we should be able to remove the wheel. Pull the derailleur back. Slide the wheel out. All right, now we have the wheel on a three or five gallon bucket, whatever you're choosing is. And now we have to take these screws out. There's six of them. They are Phillips screws. So let's get a Phillips screwdriver and take these out. Be careful not to strip them. All right, here we go. That's the best thing I got right here. Okay, we got one, so that's working. So remember, you gotta apply some heavy downward pressure on it. And use a good headed Phillips screwdriver bit. Now I'm not gonna put them on with this. With that, we have all six of these screws out. Definitely the torque driver did it. Um, make sure you're going in reverse using a very good head. I did not have the strength to turn these out on my own. So that was my only option. When I put it in here,
the little locking screw to hold the wheel in place right here. This holds it in the frame, fell off, so all good, easy enough. All right, now all we have to do is hit this motor out. So I'm gonna set it here, if you like. I'm gonna drop some small pieces of foam. Just so when the motor comes out, it don't drop to the bottom and just, just trying to behave a little bit here, guys. Take a mallet, rubber mallet, plastic mallet, uh, to hit this out if you can. And there it is. So it takes a, a bit of a hit, and this is why I don't want to use concrete or steel because I want to get this out without damage. Now there it is, the motor is out. And with the motor came the gears. Pretty easily done. If you have to take the gears out, you take them off this way. This is, um, looks like white lithium, grease. And you can now take this off and replace it if you have to. I'm not gonna, that was not required of the uh, element here. So the motor's out, you can take a screwdriver or something and pull this off, uh, kind of pry it in, pull the gears out. Not a big deal, but that's how you take the motor off, guys. Let's put it back on. All right, now to put it back on, pretty simple. You just got to make sure that, one, don't pick it up by the wires. You want to make sure these gears mesh into this uh, gear up here. If these are meshed, it'll drop right in. Again, to pull this off, you could use a, a gear puller and, and put it here and wrap around here and pull it off. But I don't think you need to. I think all you got to do is get it off this uh, inner gear and slide it out. There will be, if you look right here, a key. If that key falls out, it's a key that holds the inner gear with these outer gear uh, metal. You just slide it back in, slide this back on, and it's done. It's pretty easy. I just don't want to go through that to take this out right now. Unless it just comes right off for me. And it does not. So the key is holding it pretty firmly. Anyway, let's put it back together. Put it back together. You just put it in. Align it up. Now we have to align right there. I think that'll do it. There goes the motor sliding back. Again, you're not seeing me beat this one to death. It'll slide back once you get those uh, teeth aligned. Now it's slid back into place. Align your screws. And now we're going to put them back into place. All the while being careful not to touch that rotor because now we have grease on our hands and we will clean that uh, that brake rotor off with isopropyl alcohol anyway. But uh, be careful not to touch that um, or wear gloves. All right, now we'll tighten them down a little bit. 
and we'll do that in a star pattern as well. Again, we're just going to snug them up, guys. We're not going to wrench on them. You can hear it pulling things together. Now, all that is, is is the gears meshing and seating all this back together. All right, now we'll go around one more time, starting on this side, and we'll go the... doesn't matter which way you go. Just make sure they're tight, guys. Now we'll put it back on the bike and uh, put it together. All right, in order to do this, guys, all we got to do is make sure we got this out of the way. Get it around your chain. And the thing we want to make sure is the motor wire is going up towards the motor. washer that's back here, pull it forward and try to get it just into that slot a little bit. All right, now we're going to move to the other side. So remember, we have our slotted axle. I'm going to put it on this way. I'm going to lift up. Push this on and put it in. Now it's facing the proper direction. Now when we tighten everything down, it'll pull it into place. The next thing is the retaining clip. The retaining, the retaining clip screw. The washer. And the nut. And there we go. The nut's on. Now we'll tighten this back. All right, now we'll move to the other side. On this side, we can't forget to put the derail your guard on. So we'll slide it back behind the nut. Now we'll put the cover back on. And now we'll run the wire. I pulled it out from here. We're going to run it up to here, plug it in, and that'll resolve most of our uh, assembly. We're going to take the motor wire, run it back here, find your flat, Mash up the flat sides and push it together. This is flat, this is flat. There's also an arrow. We'll take our old one out. We'll put the new one in. We'll nip it off. Pretty simple. Only thing we're going to have to do is re-align uh, the brake, and that'll be in the next episode, guys. That's the video for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe below, and we'll see you on the next episode.